Hi everyone. This class, I'm going to name it an active aging math class. So this class is suitable for the elders, um, the older people, um, those of you who has osteopenia, osteoporosis, um, and those of you who are recovering from a back injury. So um, it will be safe, but please practice carefully and listen to your body and see if there's anything that doesn't feel comfortable. Um, modify it or you can ask me, DM me, put in a comment and I'll try to help you. Okay, so what I have here, this is just optional, you don't have to. I have a, um, a towel that I folded. The reasons for this is when I lying supine here, it may not be comfortable for your neck. Um, I'm not sure what kind of body composition you have. So you can uh, slip in the pillow underneath your head. Um, you can fold it to however most comfortable for you. Okay, so I'm going to put this aside. I also have a small pillow, a cushion. You know, I'm going to put this between my knees at some exercises or you can also lie on it when you're on the side. And lastly, I have a, a towel that I've rolled. Again, you don't have to have this. This is just for an assistant. Um, stretch. Okay. Now, you can also use some a belt or a terraband if you have. Um, whatever you can find at home, okay? You don't have to use a towel. You don't even have to use this at all. Okay, so let's get starting. I want you to lie on your back. Grab a pillow. Okay, squeeze it between your inner thighs here. Lie on your back. All right, now, ideally, try not to put in too much of a towel underneath your neck if you don't need it, okay? See if you can do it without for the first one. But if you find that you're in this position, be please um, place a little folded towel underneath your head to make your head more aligned. Okay, I'm going to take my towel up because I don't... So go ahead and lie on your back. Have your chest open. Have your pelvis placed in a neutral position. Have your feet reaching forward, parallel positioned, hip width apart, and a little pillow, if you like to, in between your inner thighs. Now, take an inhale, side of your ribs, not push the belly out. This is a big no-no. I want to keep that belly in, okay? So inhaling, breathing to the side of the ribs, and exhale, I want you to deflate. Okay? And an inhale again. And exhale. Allow the abdominal to deflate. Allow the back muscle to lift up as well. So kind of 50-50. 50 in abdominal, 50 in the lower back. I don't want you to curl the pelvis. Okay, I want you to stabilize your center. Stabilize your pelvis. Again, in breath. Exhale. Draw it in. Perhaps gently squeeze on the cushion. And two more times. Inhale. Exhale. Activating the powerhouse, the core. One last one. Inhale. Exhale. Okay, moving on. In breath, as you exhale, draw in that center. I want you to press the feet down, press your hands down, lift that bottom up in one straight line. So no articulation. I want to keep towards your belly button. Your hamstring switched on, the glute switch on, the inner thigh switch on. Okay, 
the back of your arms are also working here. And then exhale, hinge at the hips, release down. In breath. Exhale. So what I want you to do is to maintain that length of the spine. Inhale. Exhale. In breath. Exhale. Lifting to a bridge. Inhale. In breath. Exhale. And I want you to pause this for a second. Look, turn yourself towards me. I want you to find, I want you to see how my alignment is compared to your alignment. Watch that you don't push that ribs out, yeah? Drawing the abdominal wall, getting those hamstrings really, really working, okay? And inhale. Exhale, come down. Let's do two more times. We lift. Inhale, hold. Exhale. We lower. Last one. And we stay up for a second. Now, take an in breath. Let's float the arms up. Stabilize that body. And then lower down. And you know what? Let's go inhale up. Exhale. And then inhale arms up. Exhale. Continue. If you find, if, you, if you're just recovering for some back injuries and you find this height is pinching your back, please do my Please lower down a little bit, and that's okay. Yeah. Inhale. Exhale. And an inhale. Exhale. One more. In breath. Exhale. Another inhale. Exhale. Lower down. Good job. Bring your feet together. Okay. Open your hands a little wider than this. Now let's do some twisting. Squeeze. Now let's turn yourself towards me. And an exhale. Activate that center. Return your legs back to the middle. Squeezing that pillow. Inhale. You can also turn your head over to the opposite direction. And exhale. And over. Inhale towards me. Head over to the other side if you wish to. Exhale. Again, in breath. Exhale. Let's do one more each side. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Exhale. Coming back to the middle. Let the cushion out. Now, you're welcome to put a little um, ball the towel underneath your head if you wish to, like so, okay? Just, I want you to feel comfortable in your neck and your head while you're doing it. Okay, now from here, drawing that center, sorry, I think this is a little bit too um, thick for me, so I'm just going to release it down a little bit. Okay, okay. Sorry about that. So, draw into your center. Two, lift or come up onto a tiptoe on one foot and then pull in a center deeper, bring it up into a tabletop. And then maintain the center. We lower down as you in breath. Exhale. And an inhale, hinging at the hip. Exhale. Take care that you don't do this, yeah? It's not about that. It's about hip extension and then hip flexion. And then down at the inhale and exhale. You can also slip your right hand underneath the small of the back and then place your other hand on the belly. 
into the back and the back drawing into the belly. So inhale, exhale, stabilize the trunk. Inhale, exhale, exhale. Last one, in breath, exhale, and then place that foot down. Switching your hand, left hand underneath the back, right hand on the belly, breath out. And then coming up onto your tabletop. We inhale lower, exhale, inhale lower, exhale. Again, try not to blow the belly out. Yeah, keeping the abdominal contained. Again, in breath, and an in breath. Let's do one more time in breath. And we lower the leg down. Arms by the side. So stabilizing the pelvis, stabilizing that. Lift one leg up. And then breathe out. Second leg up. Hold that abdominal tight. Let's do some leg changes. So we have one leg down as you inhale. Exhale. The other leg down. Exhale. And then we in breath, exhale. And an in breath, exhale. Again, in breath, exhale. Firing up that transverse abdominal muscle. And an in breath. And one more each side. Last one. Now lower your left foot down. Place your right hand on the right thigh like so. I want you to take an in-breath. As you exhale, push the thigh into your hands and push your hands towards your thigh. So, breathing out, pressing. You're going to activate the right oblique muscle here. Stay there for three, two, one, and release. Two more times. Breathe out. Press your thigh to your hand and to your thigh. Stay three, two, one. Pull the belly in tight and release. One last one. Breathe out. Pressing in. Three, two, one. And release. Lower the foot down. Switch. Breathe out. Control when you lift that leg up. Hand onto your thigh. Thigh onto your hand. Repeat. Breathe out. Pressing in, press in, press down, and stay three, two, one, and release. Two more times. Exhale. It feels like, it may look like it's not a lot of work, but it's actually your obliques are working really hard here, guys. And release. One more time. Breathe out. Pressed against each other. Inhale. Sorry, exhale. Three, two, one. And release. Well done. All right. Lift one leg up to tabletop. Hold that center. Second leg up to tabletop. Pull it in tight. You can straighten the legs if you can. Otherwise, you can have your legs in tabletop. All right. I'm going to straighten my legs. Hold. Lock the abdominal in. Take your arms up off the floor. Let's do some hundreds. Take an in breath. Five exhale. Five inhale. We go. <sighs> Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, and the last set. And inhale, hold, fold the knee, one foot comes down, second one comes down, well done. Okay, grab the towel or your belt or the band, stretch your left leg down, extend your right leg up. Okay, now this towel is just going to be a support, all right, if you need some help in um, to stabilize that pelvis. So, flex the foot. 
draw the elbows down as much as you can. Keep the neck long. Reach out the other leg on the floor. Now let's do some leg circle. We go across the body and then down. Sorry, in breath. And then exhale. And then inhale. It doesn't have to be big. And then exhale. And then inhale. Just going to mobilize that pelvis. Sorry, your hip joint. So mobilizing the hip joint. Lubricating the hip joint. One more set. In breath. And then exhale. And stay the other way. Inhale. Out and across. And exhale. And in breath. And exhale. And in breath. And exhale. One more. Inhale. And exhale. Stay. A little hamstring stretch. Take an in breath. Exhale. We need to pull that leg close. Good job. So inhaling. Exhale. Just allow the legs to be a little bit heavy in your pelvis. Okay, keep reaching the heels away. Inhale. You can even soften a little bit on your inhale. And then exhale. Reach out to the heel. Again, inhale. You can soften the knee a little bit. And then exhale. Reach out. One more. In breath. And exhale. Good job. Okay, release that foot down. Place it on the floor. Take the other leg up. Bring the towel or the belt or the band, whatever you're using, on that foot. Straighten the first leg. Reach it out on the floor. Right? Lengthen up that hip. Pulling that center in. Flex the other foot up to the ceiling. Okay? Let's go across the body and down as you inhale. And exhale. And an in breath. And exhale. And an in breath. And exhale. And two more. And exhale. And the last one. And exhale. And stay the other way. Out and across as you inhale. And exhale. And an in breath. And exhale. And an in breath. And exhale. Maintain that pelvis stability. Once more set. And exhale. And center for the hamstring stretch. So we pull that leg closer to yourself, to your chest. We inhale, we can soften the knee. Exhale, reach it out. Inhale, softening the knee. Exhale, reach it out. Again, in breath. And exhale. And an in breath. And exhale. One more time, in breath, and exhale, Ooh, that's tight, and then release, okay, you can release that foot down gently, release that towel, turn your body towards me, lie on your side, now this is where you may need the pillow underneath your neck, okay, so I'm going to show you what we're going to do, I'm going to put my towel away. We're going to just lie on the side, like so. If this is uncomfortable with your neck on your head, place a pillow or a cushion underneath, like so. Okay, so you're keeping your neck aligned, so arm underneath them. Now here, I want to have that spine in a nice straight line. I don't want it to collapse down on the floor like so, okay? So reach long. Keep that gap underneath the waist. You can even shift a towel, perhaps, underneath here if you need some extra support, okay? Knees together, feet together. Let's do some chest opener here. As we inhale, we rotate back. Exhale. Again, inhale, we rotate. Exhale. And again, inhale. Exhale. Last one. Inhale out. Exhale. Come back in. Right. Release the top leg. Stretch it out. Lengthen the bottom arm long here. Again, you can use the pillow if you want to. I'm going to let go of this cushion. I think I'll be all right. 
All right, head onto your arm, top hand here. Again, the bottom voice needs to be activated here, okay? So, some glute series, lift the top leg up, hold the pelvis in a nice stable position. We can relax up with a little bit, okay? We can even place your hands here. Why not? Let's do it. And let's go lower. Exhale, and then down. Exhale, and then two, and four. Let's do ten. And five, and six, and seven, and eight, and nine, and ten. Take it up. Now, floppy foot. Let's take it forward. Forward and go up. Down and back. And forward, lift. Down and back. And three, and back. Stabilize the pelvis. And back on five, and six, and seven. When you feel that glue starting to burn, and eight, and a nine. The last one, ten. Now, let's take the leg forward again. We'll get floppy foot. We're going to do some drop and catch. We go down, exhale. Shh, shh. Four, five. Inhale, five, four, three, two, one. Bring it back. Ooh, and release. You can feel that fire happening in that glute. Now bring the knees together. I want you to move that feet back, sort of align with the body. Okay? Now opening up the upper leg for some clamps and lower. And get exhale. Inhale. And on three, another ten of this. And four. And five. And six. Seven. And eight. Nine. Last one, ten. Good job. Release. All right, come up onto your elbow. Okay, bend the bottom leg in front of the hip. Now, lift that bottom waist up for me. Extend the top leg long. You can have the hand here. All right, I wanted to do some um, side kick forward. Bring the leg up, flex that foot. We go forward, exhale, inhale, exhale, Inhale. Remember to lift the bottom waist. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Two more. Inhale. Last one. Inhale. Coming back and release. Well done. You can give yourself a little massage there or hit on a bump. Now let's go over to the other side. All right, grab the cushion if you're using the cushion. All right, so you know what? I'm not going to use the cushion on this side. You can use it. Interlace the fingers in the back of your head here. All right, again, find that length in the spine, okay? Try not to drop the bottom waist, but activate that obliques to maintain that length. And now, top arm over, and we inhale, rotate, back, exhale, again, inhale, rotate, and exhale, and again, inhale, this is a, such a nice chest opener, and an inhale. And exhale, and let's stop there. All right, extend the bottom arm long, and then top leg long. Again, you can place that cushion underneath your head. All right, hand in front here, or you can have your hands here. I had my hand here before, right? So lengthen out, lift the bottom obliques, reach the top leg up, lift up for 10, and 9, and 8, 
seven and six, five, four, three, floppy foot, one and hold. Let's take the leg forward and then lift and back on and two and back. Exhale, Shh. inhale and four Shh. in breath and five. Shh. Seven, eight, nine, last one, and back. Let's take the leg forward for a drop and catch. We exhale for five, three, four, five. Inhale, five, four, three, two, one. And then release. Oh, okay. Did you feel that? Mine's definitely burning. Knees together. Okay. Now, transfer your leg back. Okay. Chest open. Let's go into the clamps. We go opening up for 10. And 9, 8, 7. Ooh, it's hard work. 6. Hang on there. 5. Four, three, two, one. Well done. Give yourself a little massage on your bottom. Okay. And then come up onto your elbow. All right. For the side kick. So, forearm down. Lift up the bottom waist. Take the top leg up. And shall we flex the foot? Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale and two more sets. Last one. Back, back, coming to the center and release. Right on your back, please, for a well-deserved glute stretch. I'm gonna take my right leg across on top of my left thigh, grabbing my left thigh with my hands and just pulling the leg towards you and I'm using my right elbow to push my right thigh away for a deeper stretch here okay in breath exhale let's do two more sets breath exhale one last exhale and release. Switching on to the other side. My left leg is across on top of my right thigh. Hand to the back of my right thigh. Left elbow pushing the left thighs away. And pulling in. Ooh, tight, tight, tight. In breath. Exhale. In breath. Exhale. Those glute exercises are so good for you to stabilize that pelvis right to help you to give a bit more support on the pelvis all right let's release that okay turning on to the side and we're going to come on to your front right now if you're feeling if you're having some issue or having some pain in the lower back you are welcome to roll some towel okay Place it underneath you, okay, to give a little bit support of the lower back, the lumbar spine, so it doesn't arch down. So help the lower back to lift up a little bit more, yeah, when you're doing this exercise. So you don't have to use this, but if you need it, you're welcome to place the towel on the mat. All right, you know what? I'm gonna just place a towel there, just for this one. Okay, so for some back extension series. Reaching out the legs, lengthening up the lower back. Now from here, I want you to inhale, reach the arms long to the side of your thighs and then come up like a rocket. And exhale and down. My hamstrings are working hard to stabilize my body. And inhale, reach up 
exhale again inhale reach up exhale watch you don't jam that neck so try avoid this okay keep that neck long and exhale the last one inhale reaching up we hold take your arms up to the side let's take the thumb up right from here we lift the arm up like airplane wings up for five exhale four three two one turn the palms back on the thighs and release place your hands underneath the forehead i want to have the right hand above the the right palm above the left palm okay rest the head down this is a modified swimming so take an in breath exhale pull that center up again and now i want you to lift that chest up left hand on the floor left arm on the floor right arm comes up with the chest and then the left leg comes up at the same time and release we inhale we lift exhale inhale we lift exhale two more we lift exhale last one we lift exhale we switch over to the other side left hand above the right hand and we inhale lift and press the right forearm down right leg up left arm up exhale inhale lengthen up that lower back exhale in breath exhale two more in breath exhale last one in breath and exhale well done now carefully lift yourself up reach the pelvis down to your heels and lengthen that spine breathing into the ribs exhale one more if this is too much for you you don't have to do it you can also place a pillow underneath your bottom to look up um, to support your knees exhale all right coming up okay well done let's come up into sitting position like so right kind of like a butterfly i just want you to grab the hands on the ankle here and just you know flap the legs yeah just flap it just breathing in and exhale and again just let it move yeah is that the pelvis exhale and one more and exhale okay now i need to rotate to one side i'm going to turn to my left side twist it up exhale and again inhale twist it up exhale and again inhale turning your head to the back exhale one last one exhale grab the ankle pull onto sort of grab it quite firmly here pull away i want you to inhale and turn up the chest into high release exhale stay upright and two more and exhale look after that neck inhale releasing the chest right up to the ceiling and exhale I hope you enjoyed the workout. Thanks for joining me. See you later.